Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Livingston, Montana. Okay, today's date is August 15th of 2022, and this is another one of my driving tour videos around Livingston here, etc., etc. But before I get to going stout here, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my subscribers by the name of Redhead. I see you over there, Redhead. I feel your vibe. You want to see rivers? You want to see mountains and that kind of stuff? Well, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing little clips here and there of the mountains and the Yellowstone River and stuff like that. I really don't even have a plan in mind. I'm just doing spontaneous clips, if you will. And before I get started, though, here, I, I want to make a couple of statements. A guy like me could not photograph or make moving pictures, if you will, or movie files of this the state of Montana in two lifetimes. Did you hear me? This is a big state. I figure it would take two complete lifetimes to totally photograph and record this whole state. This particular, Montana is the fourth biggest state in the union, and there's 93 million acres in the state of Montana. It's just that simple. And what else do I want to say? Oh, as far as these recordings go in and around Livingston, Montana here, ladies and gentlemen, I've recorded a lot of this stuff. It's on my channel. Just look back, you know, on my channel index, and you'll you'll see all kinds of stuff that I've recorded. I, I, I'm, I, I've recorded close to a thousand videos. Okay, we're burning daylight. I am seriously burning daylight. Let's go. Thank you very much for tuning in here. Well, I'm sorry about all the extra noise out here, but I'm on the old US 89 bridge, the Veterans Bridge east of Livingston, Montana. But look at here, look at the doggone mess I ran into. This river is muddy as all get out. You know what I mean? It's, it looks worse than my socks. That's a joke. Yeah, it's been raining for the last couple of days in the evenings or in the nighttime. Just take a look at this nasty water. But I can assure you that this kind of deal here, you know, it'll it'll clear up in a few days. But I just thought I'd show you folks this. The muddy Yellowstone River. I did not know it was running like this. There's a good old Absorky Mountains in the background. Okay then. Well, here's another shot of Yellowstone River. Uh, I'm sorry, but the sun is right in my eyes. But hopefully you can see this water. Good grief almighty. This stuff is really muddy. I mean, seriously, I do really do not want to take a lot of clips of this because what's scenic about this? Look at that. This stuff is running like coffee. <laughs> but like I say, it's probably due to all the rain and stuff that we've had lately, evening and night showers and like that. So it does this from time to time. I'm not exactly sure, but I know one thing. Having a river like this, let me zoom up here so maybe people can see the mountains. Having a river like this is for the birds. The muddy Yellowstone River is for the birds. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do is go back into town. Well, I'm actually in town. And go over to Sacagawea Park and feed the ducks and the geese. But just look at this water. Pretty nasty stuff. It'll clear up. It'll clear up. Well, good grief almighty. In my last clip, I was down there at Mayor's Landing and I talked to a couple of guys. I didn't realize this, but I guess up in Paradise Valley, they had a big landslide, or I don't know how big of a landslide, and a lot of water, rain and stuff, and that's what's causing this river to be all mucked up. I mean, the Yellowstone River has really taken a beating this year, and that's the way Mother Nature can do up here in Montana, the weather. Mother Nature, whatever you want to call it. I mean, sometimes a person can just get beat to death. I, I mean, I've been through this, you know, blinding snowstorms and wind and ice and hail and snow and you name it. I've been through it one way or the other. Okay, let me see, sneak out here and see if I can get another clip, clip of this river real quick. 
quick before I go hunting geese and ducks. Well, here I am in Sacagawea Park, and this is what the river looks like. Why it's real clean down here is beyond me. I just don't know. But all this muck and everything that you see right there, supposedly he's from a landslide up in Paradise Valley, according to what I've heard anyway. Yeah, that water in the background there is really mucky. You know, it's just like coffee. I can't be apologizing for stuff like this because I don't control Mother Nature. So sorry there, Redhead. I'll try to shoot you a better video in the future, but I'm going to go ahead and capture this muddy river for right now just in case there's something serious that went on that I'm unaware of. This is the deal here anyway. Okay, I'm off to find me some ducks and geese to feed. That's how I'll end this video, I do believe, anyway. I gotta get some kind of meat in here. <laughs> well, here we are in Sagajuia Park. Take a look down there. I just shook my feed sack a few times, and here they come. Ducks, geese. Well, I mean my feed sack, I mean this stuff. Bird seed. My wife told me not to. A lot of people come down here and they'll, they'll use breadcrumbs and crackers and stuff like that. It's my understanding that's not good for these birds. Okay, let me get set up here. Boy, look at them come. Now all I'm doing is just shaking this old feed sack here, making that noise. Woohoo! Here they come. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come here, ducks. Here we go, little duckies. Little duckies. Let me help you, little ducky. Yeah, I'm wrestling around with this thing. Here you go, little fellers. Woohoo! There we go. Sign of them getting old. Here comes a guy sneaking through the woods. I wish the geese had come. Here you go, duckies. Let me put this camera down here and see if I can get some duck shots that way. <laughs> duckies. Ducks, give them a show. Come on, duckies. Let me throw some out there. Any guys in the water there. Come on, guys. Give them a show. Dance. You ain't gonna get any better pictures of ducks than this. Let me tap that to make sure it's in focus. Yeah. Come on, duckies. This guy is just jumping right up. Come on, guys. Yeah, this guy here, jumping right up like a basketball player. Come on, ducks. Here's the geese. Here comes the geese. I hope you guys like this. Come on, geese. Yeah, there's some geese. Okay, let me shut this off and get reset up again. Come on, guys. I got some, I got a big goose down here. Let me see if I can get him. Ooh, yeah, there's more than goose. There's a bunch of them. Come on, geese. Give them a show, guys. Okay, let me turn around here and get my feed here. Yeah, all you need to do is come down here and rattle a sack, and here they'll come. Woohoo! There we go. They go where the feed goes. Check it out, guys. Come on, geese. Come on. Fell down. Here you go, guys. 
Here you go. This is Sacagawea Park, ladies and gentlemen. This water's awful colored in here, too. It's like a river. I wonder what's going on. I wonder what's going on. Come on, guys. Boy, this little bonus clip here. I finally got one of these geese to come up here. He'll, he'll start fighting with these ducks. That guy right there. Right there. Yeah, this is a little bonus shot right there. The, the the big the big goose. Yeah, this this is a wildlife sanctuary in here, ladies and gentlemen, especially for birds, bird life and like that. So Yeah, I got a ton of them in here. <laughs> All I did was drag a five pound bag of bird seed down here and start rattling. That's all I did. I'm sitting on a park bench. Yeah. Yeah, that old goose right there, he'll run them, he'll run them right there. Look at him. Look at all this stuff here, guys. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, here comes another one. Here comes another goosey. No. Oh. Goose. <laughs> Hog. Somebody needs to have you for lunch. I'm just kidding for all you animals lovers out there. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to edit this. Well, look at this. Man, they got a mask going here. Look at this. Well, okay. That's really good enough. I'll finish feeding these geese and get gone. Boy, he's an, he's an ornery bugger, ain't he? Kind of like me. <laughs> Boy, look at this. I got me a, a gluttony thing going on here. Glut <laughs> Duck gluttons, get that. Come on, guys. Let's go get them lazy geese down there. They don't want to come up here. What's going on, buddies? Let me set this down so I can get a shot of you. Come on, come on, come on. Over here. Ah, that's right. Hee <laughs> hee. Come on, give him a show. There you go. Come on, guys. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Jump, jump. Michael Jordan time. Come on, come on. Yeah, baby. Okay, you folks done with the duck thing? Should take the rest of this bird seed home right here. Uh, that's what my wife told me to feed him. Okay, let me see if we got some dust. Okay, there's some geese down here. Look at that. They're a little bit more timid, the geese are. Yeah, good old Sacagawea Park. Well, okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's getting up here. Let me turn this camera around on myself. Let me make sure this is in focus. It never is. Okay, that's all there is to this clip here. I think I've done enough damage for the day. <laughs> Couldn't find nothing worth recording here. Well, I tried. Okay, we shall see you on down the trail. Take care of yourselves. And adios, my friends.